Hello, boys and girls. It's currently sitting in my living room in South Berwick, Maine, for another edition of Karen Reads. My book today is called Crossings Extraordinary Structures for Extraordinary Animals. It's written by Katie Duffield who one day read an article about wild animals who were having problems living around freeways and railroads and other places that had cut through their living habitat, keeping them from getting to food or water or mates to breed with. So engineers got busy and started building tunnels and crossings and bridges and all kinds of way, ways for the animals to get across the freeway. And you'll find other many creative solutions. It's illustrated by Mike Drodden, who has rescued wild animals all his life since he was a little boy and helped the snail get across a road. He lives in London. Okay, crossings. Extraordinary structures for extraordinary animals. Over, under, across, through. Around the world, construction crews build overpasses, underpasses, bridges and tunnels, ways for people to get from one place to another. But what about the animals that live in these places? And you can see this mother bobcat trying to take her baby across the road. What happens when construction spreads over, under, across, and through their habitat? A habitat is a place that they live or inhabit. around the world in search of solutions, animal lovers come together over, under, across, through. Opening their minds and their hearts, they work to find ideas and answers. Construction crews work again, but these structures aren't for traveling people, they're for traveling animals. A bull elk picks his way through evergreens over a noisy Canadian highway. A 
a mama elephant fenders under a crowded canyon road in Africa. Here's my favorite solution. Squirrel gliders skitter across woven rope bridges stretched high above an Australian freeway. So they climb across the rope ladders. Blue penguins hustle home to their chicks through a tiny tunnel beneath the New Zealand pavement. Red crabs scuttle up, up, and over an Australian bridge that leads to the Indian Ocean. They have to plant their eggs in the ocean. Florida Panthers slip slink under the roar of the traffic above. Here's my second favorite solution. The monkeys tie rope across blue rope bridges that keep them safe above a Costa Rica road. And this was the idea of some children who were working to save the rainforest. And um, the monkeys skitter along the rope, just like tight rope walkers in a circus. A spotted salamanders shimmy through peewee passageways beneath the Massachusetts United States street. Coyotes creep over the rush of Arizona motorists below. Black bear cubs follow Mamba under a Montana highway. So they built them a tunnel. Pangolins teeter-totter toward their burrows across a Singapore Expressway. Yeah, they put through 
a six lane highway right dividing a rainforest. So these animals definitely needed help. A koala saunters through a tunnel along a ledge below an Australian road. Over, under, across, through. Construction workers and engineers have found imaginative ways to help out these animals. Living proof that opening our minds and our hearts can make all the difference. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the book. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.